What's happening coaches? It's Peter here. Want to answer a question about how I feel about flat fee or advisors that work hourly or bill hourly. There's also one more in here that's actually uh, advisors that bill on a percentage. So the thing I want to mention here is that they're talking about financial advisors. So typically you will have in this business and financial coaching counseling businesses, you will have say a financial advisor that you like to share referrals with. They send someone downstream it's really more along the spectrum, but they might send people to you that aren't ready to work with them. They may refer you people that are kids of their clients, people that are working on behaviors and education and financial literacy. You may send people to them when they have, oh, I've got $800,000 in this account that's just sitting there. I've got some bonds and inheritance coming, right? And you want to have that partnership. You may also not have a specific partnership. You may have your favorite financial services organization and just refer to them and let them go ahead and find someone. I always like having someone specific for sure. But the issue is that the financial advisors work in different ways. And if they are a captive financial advisor, meaning that they work for a financial services company, they may only have certain ways that they are allowed to bill. Like the company may only have the infrastructure or the arrangements with their financial advisors that they can bill in certain ways. Independent financial advisors can usually have some more flexibility, but oftentimes they will pick often just one way that they want to work. They don't want to have a bunch of disparate ways. They know their business model. All right. So let me talk about flat fee. Flat fee is usually, hey, you come in, regardless of what you have, I'm going to charge you $2,500 to put together a financial plan. I'm going to interview you. We're going to talk about it. I'll probably follow up with more questions. Then we'll put together this plan, review it, and then monitor it. You'll own that plan. This is not super common. There are financial advisors that do this, but a lot of people get sticker shocked. Regardless of their financial, well, they usually get sticker shocked about this because they don't like writing a check for $2,500 for something that they think is a service or often software or something. And so even rich people who have the wherewithal to pay for this often like going to financial advisors that charge a fee or charge hourly, then they know exactly what they're getting. The flat fee financial advisor to me is very much like the flat fee attorney that you go to and they will do a will for $500, a trust for $2,500, give you some powers of attorney and living wills and stuff like that, right, for certain flat fees. And that's because generally the person that's going to come to them is going to fall within this window of time that they have to invest. And in many cases, it may cover 10 hours of their time, but because they have all the stuff, because they're very good at it, this is the only work that they do, they might be able to get it done in three hours or five hours, and that's how they make their money. And then the occasional client might take 12 hours or 15 hours, but that kind of gets offset by some of the other clients. So flat fee is around. It's certainly an option. The people that this is ideal for are usually people that have big money, big estates, lots of wealth, and what they want is just a second opinion or maybe someone to really give them a detailed plan. But honestly, if you have a lot of moving pieces to it, different social security, different pensions, different income streams, annuities, what have you, then the flat fee might go up. They might have a flat fee for kind of your basic, like tax preparers do. Hey, you just have W-2s, no problem. Here's our basic fee. If you have a business, it goes up to $1,000. If you own a business and an investment property, it goes to $1,500. So it might be expensive, but... This is actually probably the best for those high net worth people because actually paying a percentage of their assets, if they have a million dollars and they're paying $10,000 a year, they're actually paying more. They're just not writing a check for it. So the other one, as I mentioned, is AUM, Assets Under Management. They charge a fee to the client based on the assets that they manage. So it kind of usually gets advertised as about 1%. It's usually 70 to 80 basis points of the assets. All right. So I've covered a third one that they didn't ask about. The other one that they asked about is hourly advisors, someone who charges by the hour. This is very much like the attorney role, they might charge you $150 an hour, $200 an hour, depending on the type of attorney, family attorney or a contracts attorney or whatever, up to $400 an hour. If you go to a high powered law firm, it's going to be $800 or $1,000 an hour. But what do I think about these? The flat fee, like I said, is usually when you're going to get some free hours in this, right? They have a mark where they will do the work and you're on the complex side. That's where you should probably go. Hourly is probably, to be honest, the most fair. You know what their rate is, $200 an hour. They're going to keep a records of that, bill you for whatever their time is at the end. They put in 40 hours. They spend a whole week on your project, a one work week, right? This could be over a month or something. But 40 hours, if it's $100 an hour, that could 
start being expensive, $4,000. If it's $200 an hour, $8,000. So it could be easier and cheaper to go to a flat fee person. But the hourly, I feel like, appeals to people who are really about compensating fairly. If I'm getting something, I want to know exactly how much I'm paying for, and I don't feel bad about paying a fair rate and an amount commensurate with your work, but I don't want to overpay. And so it's the people that look at the flat fee and say, oh man, I might be taking advantage of that and just want the hourly rate. And then the AUM, the percentage, is really the people that want an ongoing relationship, don't want to pay out of pocket. And the reason I say the ongoing relationship, because if you go back to someone with a flat fee or an hourly rate, you're going to pay every time. You're going to pay every time you have a phone call or a question or a situation come up or your kid gets in an accident and gets arrested and you have to decide how you're going to get the bail money or you need money wire transferred out of account to buy a second home or whatever it is. The percentage advisor is going to do all that work for you whenever and not charge you anymore. So if you call an hourly advisor and you're like, hey, I just have a question. Should I finance this car at the 2% that the dealership is offering or should I just pay for it in cash? Well, that 30 minute call, that 40 minute call, that's going to be billed by the hourly advisor. So it just really depends on the relationship you want. I would say the hourly advisor and the flat fee advisor, while sounds idyllic, sounds like the fair way to go, is probably the least common. I don't know percentage wise how many there are out there, but it sounds great. It sounds super fair. It sounds unbiased. But the reality is that when you actually put that in front of people, and they see a bill coming, an invoice coming, and that they have to send in a check, a lot of people think, maybe I'll go the other way. It's more expensive, but it caps my cost. It really depends on, I think, the personality of the client that you're thinking about referring. And so if you have clients that kind of fall in those, they might be good people to refer to their respective types of financial advisors. So hopefully that helps. I'll see you later. 